I am sorry, sir. It is that Miss Logan here again, sir, to see Mr. Farnsworth. Show her in. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. No, no, it's perfect. It's, yes, per it's the perfect yes. alibi. I shall insist on seeing him. I'll Can see look for another person. body. One of the servants will go up and find the body. Excuse yourself and keep Sisk with you at all times to establish your whereabouts while I stay in here. Let's get out of here, Mr. Jordan. Miss Logan, sir. Well, Miss Logan, I'm Tony Abbott. This is the library. That's Mrs. Farnsworth. Hello. I'm going into the living room. You want to come, Sisk? Oh, yes, certainly, <laughs> madam. I'm Mr. Farnsworth's personal private executive secretary. I didn't know whether you knew that or not. I'm sorry Mr. Farnsworth's not down yet. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm, I'll wait. Would you care to take a seat? No, 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 thank you. Uh, perhaps you'd like to tell me what it's about? Uh, Mr. Farnsworth has been sent hundreds of letters from a town in England called Pagglesham. The people who live in that town, 1600, including my father, are about to be forcibly evicted from their homes in order to make way for the proposed Exo Grey refinery. Not only will hundreds of families who've lived there for generations be forced to find other homes, but the few who remain will have their health endangered by the inevitable poisoning of their air and their water. The documented evidence for which I have here is along with a petition signed by the 1,673 citizens of that area. This is what I'm here to see Mr. Farnsworth about. I'm sure you're aware that Mr. Farnsworth usually conducts business at his office. Yes, I've been to his office. He refused to see me. Well... I seriously doubt that he'd see you here. He'll have to, because I'm not leaving. I'm sorry. I'm not leaving. I've come 8,000 miles, Mr. Abbott, in order to do something about a terrible injustice that this man, Leo Farnsworth, has perpetrated on hundreds of innocent, defenseless people. Somebody ought to help her. You can help her, Joe. You can be Farnsworth. If Mr. Farnsworth doesn't see me, I don't know what I'll do. Is that some sort of a threat, Miss Logan? Yes. Well, I'd like to help her, but I don't want to be a Farnsworth. The decision is yours, Joe. Logan, you give me no choice. Sis! Well, let me ask you something. If I had to be Farnsworth, could we do it temporary? Yes. We could arrange that, if you wish it. Sis! Sis, please tell Mr. Farnsworth that Miss Logan is here and refuses to leave. Yes, sir. But if you really want to help her, Joe, you better hurry. Well, it's only temporary, right? That's correct. Only Farnsworth can help her. The moment the body is discovered, it'll be too late. <laughs> 